Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the short column and long column. So I will explain this topic with the help of an example, so it will be more easy to understand. So for example, we have a column here where the length of the column is 5 meter and the cross section of the column, if you look to the cross section, so the width of the column here is this is the width of the column. It is 200 millimeter meter and here is the depth or the height of the column is 300 millimeter. So this is the depth of the column and this is the width of the column which is 200 millimeter and 300 millimeter. So this is the cross section of the column and the length of the column is 5 meter. So how we can differentiate between the short column and long column? So there is a ratio, if I define the ratio, it states that the effective length effective length of column dividing by the least lateral dimension least lateral dimension this ratio is also represented by r so when r when the ratio of effective length dividing by the least lateral dimension when this ratio is greater than the 12 we call such type of column is long column when this ratio is less than 12 then we call such type of column is short column so this ratio defines the short column and long column so now i will explain this ratio with the help of an example here so the column length is 5 meter now let's suppose that this is a pin in column what this is a pin in column there are different types of the column, pen in column, fixed in column, and continuous column. There are different free in column, one is also fixed in column, and so on. But here in our case, we have a pen in column. So in pen in column, the effective length of the column, because in formula we have effective length here. So in pen in column, the effective length, Le, effective length, is equal to the length of the column. While in fixed column, this ratio is not the same. In, in fixed in column, effective length is equal to the 0.5 into L. So, in our case, where we have pin in column, so in our case, the effective length is equal to the length of the column. So, in this case, our effective length of the column is equal to the L, which is 5 meter. So, in our case, if we define the ratio, so effective length of column, so effective length in our case is a pin in column, pin in means here is a pin and also here is a pin. So this is called pin in column. So in our case effective length is equal to the length of the column dividing by the least little dimension or we call it least little dimension represented by B. So in our case the effective length is equal to the 5 meter dividing by the least little dimension here b b is means least means the minimum dimension the minimum is 200 or 300 so in our case the least is 200 so we will take this value is a b so this is our b 200 but this is in millimeter so we have to change this unit into meter so how to do it so we have to convert this into meter so 200 dividing by 1000 we got 0.2 meter so here we divided 0.2 meter so meter meter will be cancelled so we 5 divided by 2 we got here 25 so our ratio is comes out to be 25 now it is greater than the 12 if you look to the two criteria so r is greater than the 12 then it is long column when it is less than 12 then it is short column so in our case it is 25 which is greater than the 12 so it means our column is long column or this column with the length of 5 meter in pin in column with the least little dimension of 200 millimeter we can describe that this is a long column it cannot be called as a short column so this was the main difference that the ratio between the effective length of the column and the least little dimension when it is greater than the 12 we call it long column when it is less than 12 we call it short column so this was all about today's lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.